Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Healing Dove Tarot. Firstly, shout out to everyone for your amazing love and support last week. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. All of the comments, um, all of the opinions, all of the incredible emails, I can't thank you enough, lifted my spirits and it's exactly the kind of uh, vibration, the energy that I want for this community, this channel that we're building together. Um, really exciting. We're getting so much closer to that elusive 10K club. Um, welcome, hola, to all the new subscribers. Um, there's been heaps of you that have come in in the past week. So if you found me, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I have decided to keep the weekly readings the same format as I had before. So I will pre-shuffle off camera. I'll lay out the cards. Um, but what I've decided to change is I'm now splitting up singles and couples. So singles, you'll have your own dedicated weekly love reading today. Um, couples, yours is coming very soon. Um, hang tight. It'll be out on the 19th. I'm also going to be doing monthly general reads. So for everything else, not just love. Um, and I will start those for January 2019. For those that like the shuffling on camera and want to see the energy pop, um, I will do that for those videos so you can actually see the whole process. Um, but for those that prefer that they're not going to be on there, what I'll do is I'll timestamp them for you so you can skip ahead. So hopefully that's the happy medium for everyone. Um, a few of you have reached out and mentioned how much you loved the deck of cards that I'm using. This is the Starman Tarot by um, David DeAngelis. I've listed the details below. I've actually gone on to Amazon, the US and Australian site, and I found all the details for the cards that I use in all readings. So if you actually wanna purchase any of them, the details are below. Say you wanna get yourself a Christmas present or whatever, I've done all the research for you. Um, personal readings. I am available for personal readings until the 19th of December. After that, that's my cutoff date and I won't be available again until the 17th of January. So if you want a personal reading, now's your time to get in quick. I do still have some spaces available. Um, a few of you have asked me about vouchers for Christmas presents. Absolutely, I'm more than happy to do vouchers. Just email me and I'll talk you through the details. And finally, uh, look out on the 21st of December. I have a bit of a surprise coming for the channel. Okay, so let's get started. Sagittarius singles, you come into this week that is the 17th to the 23rd of December uh, with the Seven of Wands. Interesting energy. It's kind of a little bit defensive, like having um, to defend yourself when it comes to love. I think last week you had this incredible reading. It was um, what you seek is seeking you, right? And so really that theme's carrying on for you here this week, Sagittarius. You have Jupiter in your sign. So anything it touches, it's expanding and it's going to keep going like that for, you know, the next um, 12 months. What's interesting, though, is if I look through your history, it's really quite beautiful. You've got the Fool, New Beginnings. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fate turning in your favor. This is the card for Jupiter, too, by the way. You have the two of cups, so fated meetings, chances, um, soulmate kind of energy, and then the seven of wands. So this is the card that kind of sticks out a little bit. Now look, all of the readings this week, for, especially for singles, have been about releasing and letting go. Uh, we have a full moon in Cancer on the 22nd or 23rd, depending on where you are in the world. And this full moon in Cancer is, is quite important because it's actually the closure, the ending of a cycle of whatever was starting for us at the beginning of the year. So whatever you were doing on the 1st of January, wherever you were in the world, whatever was happening for you, this is the ending of that cycle, okay? So you're finally um, letting go. And I feel like this is what's happening for you this week. Um, because you start off this week with the Princess of Cups, so Page of Cups, and you have the Magician in the reverse. So ideally you want to see the Magician in the upright, because in the reverse um, it can speak of someone who's a, a manipulator. So in the upright, uh, one of the ways I like to describe this card is Master Manifester. Yeah, you have everything within your power to actually manifest the personal, the life of your dreams. But in the reverse, I feel like it's quite sneaky behavior. And it's coupled with the Princess of Cups. So this is the Page of Cups, someone coming in with an apology, I believe. Someone's coming in to apologize to you for whatever this Seven of Wands is. 
So maybe you had a falling out with a soulmate or someone from your past. Maybe they came back in and that's the, the cycle you're trying to close out, Sagittarius. Maybe that's what's needing to close. The wheel of fate or fortune was bringing them in. And I say that because at the basis of your reading, you have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is that mental energy. It's like choosing to, yep, I've checked out. I've checked out of this situation. Um, it's the equivalent of the Eight of Cups in, you know, the emotional side of things. I think this is the last little bit for you in closing that cycle, okay? And what I love about this card and this illustration, you have a look, it kind of looks like someone going out into battle. But do you see the rebirth at the top? Very cool. So I feel like that's what's happening for you. And then, you know, you're, you're walking away from whoever it is that's manipulated you. This may not be the story for everyone. It's a general reading, okay? I try and be as exact and precise as I can. And if I'm not the reader for you this week, then that's fine. But that's the kind of energy I'm getting. I'm getting that you're walking away from someone that's that's been a little bit shady or kind of hurt you from your past. Now, if that's not the case, let's say, for example, um, maybe it's that you're you're finding a block and kind of manifesting the love that you want. And I feel like the reason why that's happening is not because there aren't opportunities, but because you haven't done the work. You haven't had the invitation and done the work for healing. You have the Four of Swords here coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, those that have followed me for a while know that I love the Ace of Pentacles in any kind of love reading, singles, couples, whatever, because it means to me an offer of something concrete, of something tangible, right? It's a little bit more solid than just words and flowers and, and that kind of thing. But I feel like... It, you can't have this energy yet because you haven't done the work in terms of healing of letting go this is the week to do that for you okay and look this is no judgment this has been coming up for almost every sign and i think it's it's going to keep coming up as we get closer to that cancer full moon because we're literally closing out that cycle what's interesting though is um I see you doing it very much this week. You remember what I was saying about how Jupiter t expands everything that he touches, right? I feel like if you are, if this is making sense and it's resonating with you and you know that you're kind of hanging on a little bit um, to stuff that's kind of happened in the past, now's the, the time to do that, right? As you get to that full moon, which is the 22nd or 23rd, you know, write it down in a piece of paper, talk to a friend about it, do whatever it is, or maybe do both, do whatever it is to get it out of your system. Um, this is a perfect week to do some energy clearing too. Um, you know, ask to cut the ties with anything negative and for it to be released. You'll feel lighter in doing so. And I believe you will because, you know, as I was saying, you've got um, some really beautiful energy here. You've got the Princess of Pentacles coupled with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Look at this card. It's a card of rebirth. Do you see? It's like you start off here as this tiny little growth and then it turns into this really strong beanstalk. That's at the center here. And she's so fertile. Like she's about to give birth to something new. Okay. Um, and this is what I was kind of talking to you about before in terms of that rebirth with the six of swords, right? So much card of transformation and rebirth when it comes to singles and wanting love to come in. If you on only do the work. And you had the Eight of Pentacles here. So I do see you putting in the effort. I do see you kind of um, having the illumination because there's a lot of light. Uh, look, look at this. I just have to share this with you, right? I'll show you. You can see what I see. It's like I keep saying the full moon is going to be so important to you, right? It's like you get this clarity of this, this understanding of what you need to move away from, of what you want to grow and manifest. And then as the full moon comes in, you're illuminated. And this is the energy that you have as you're completing this cycle, as you get to the 23rd, right? And what's really cool is that your two cards that you're leaving this week with are the Seven of Swords and the World. Perfect combination for this kind of energy. Seven of Swords can be sneaky behavior, right? And you do have the magician in the, in the reverse, so I need to call it. That's why I'm saying I feel like someone's manipulated you or hurt you in the past if you're single. This is you literally leaving that situation behind, leaving the Five of Swords, leaving that hurt, taking your two swords, and you're like, yep, I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye for now. And then this is the world card. This is the card of ending a karmic cycle, okay? The world card shouldn't be taken lightly. It's not something that you'll see that comes up too often. Although for the last couple of months, it's been coming up a lot because we really are shedding our skins and it's turning into a new, it's the phoenix rising from the ashes kind of stuff, right? And this is literally what it is for you. You're letting go of that cycle when it comes to love. 
maybe it is just from the beginning of the year, from the 1st of January, um, and whatever has happened and transpired over this year, it's time for you to let go. Or maybe it's longer than that for some of you. Maybe it's six years um, of, of, you know, six or seven years of something that you need to let go of. And I'm saying that because they keep showing me sixes and sevens. But you're ending this cycle, okay? So I very much see this week for you as a week of transition as you're getting yourself ready to come into, you know, the week of Christmas and, and get ready for what the universe wants to bring you, which is this bright, brand new Ace of Pentacles. Okay, but it, it can't come in until you, until you do the healing work. Now, you had two additional cards that jumped for you, which I thought was really quite interesting. You've got the Six of Cups and the card of the Alien or um, Virgo, the Hermit, right? So there could be a soulmate coming in for you in the next week, okay? Time is fluid. Try not to hold on to the weeks too much. I just use it as a guide to keep delivering you the messages. Um, but the energy can flow. It depends on where you are in your, you know, astrological house. But I do see that you're drawing in this energy, okay? This is probably what the, the gift that the universe is trying to give you, this brand new beginning, is soulmate kind of energy, potentially with a Virgo. Okay, additional guidance for Sagittarius singles from the 17th to the 23rd. Wow. <laughs> yeah. um, nine of Wands, rest and reconsider. This definitely speaks about um, really that transition, right? And wait till I read the actual meaning for you from the book because I think it's just incredible. Bear with me. Fatigue, perseverance, strength and recharge. Sometimes the struggle to create and maintain harmonious and fulfilling relationships just seems like too much work. You put forward your best effort and give more than your share and find that there are still issues to be dealt with. You're tired and at times you just want to give up. The message of this card is to persevere. You may have been disappointed or hurt in the past. Know that those past sorrows have made you stronger, even though you don't feel that way at the moment. This is a good time to briefly step away from any conflict around issues um, or issues around love. Give yourself some space to relax and replenish your energy. Conscious and continuous effort stresses the body and dulls the mind. You need to rest and reconsider your methods. Once you've recharged yourself, you'll be stronger, clear-headed and confident, ready to move forward once again with new ideas about how to improve your situation in love. Beautiful. That was your reading Sagittarius Singles. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.